answer yes or no, we have to have a verbal answer from you folks when you come up. As a reminder, please try to keep social distancing between each other right here in front of you. Right. Have you experienced one tour through the last 14 days? No. All right, have an amazing day, guys. Stay mm -hmm. safe. Hi, how's it going? Have you experienced one tour Hey everyone, we're back at Knott's. It is the Taste of Calico. It's a special event where they're going to give us uh, some of the food and we're going to be able to do a little shopping. It's kind of like a mini boysenberry festival. I'm really excited. It's just great to be back at the park. Uh, it's almost our turn to walk through the turnstile and when it is, uh, we'll definitely be following up because really, really excited about this one. I love Knott's. It's one of my favorite parks. <laughs> and I like the fact they have specialty uh, full recordings there as well. Um, all right. We're gonna go through in just about a minute, so come on, let's do it. Oh, oh boy, look at that gal's dress down there. Oh, holy underwear! Look at all them colors. That is delightful, madam. You look amazing. Thank you. Wow. Bye, man. We'll see you in the final on your wall. Hey everyone, we are here in Ghost Town finally. We have our tasting cards here. We have five different options. Well, five different tastes, and we have quite a few options, as you can see. And uh, we're waiting in line for our first one right here by the uh, dance hall. We're looking forward to this. I love Knott's food and I am really, the hardest part of this actually is choosing what to actually have. So we're, uh, we're waiting for some smoothies. We'll be moving on to something after that, hopefully. So come on, the line is moving. All right, here's our first item. It is the boysenberry smoothie. It's a very popular item. So let's hope that it lives up to the hype. Oh. Oh, that is good. Nice way this is so popular. This is, uh, it's really good. It's nice and cooling. It's not crazy hot because it's the afternoon, but it's still pretty warm. Having a drink like this is definitely nice. I would actually like to make this a standard in the park because there's plenty of summer days or uh, hot fall days where all you want is something like this, and this would be definitely go to if they made this a standard item. But if you have the chance to come down, you better check this one out and get it quick because you know the line will, the line will add up. It's just being off. And Silver Bolt right behind me over here, and uh, not used to just sitting here and not hearing screams and the sound of the track. It's it's kind of weird, actually. <laughs> and here it is, the boysenberry uh, steak chili. The chili at Knott's is always really amazing, so I'm actually looking forward to this. They even give you the option of whether or not you want onions on top, which is always nice. And I chose no onions. Oh, we you, got sir. this big ball right there in the center. So we're gonna get to that. Oh, Looks good. It smells pretty good even through the mask. So, give me a second here. Mm. There's a ooh, it's nice big chunks of meat in it. A very meaty chili. Yeah, I like it. It's... <laughs> trying to cut a piece of this off and I can't quite get a piece of that cornbread off, but I'll probably just eat it once, uh, once I'm done with the chili. Knocked it over, now it's really good. Mm. Mm. There's boysenberry in the cornbread. At least it tastes like it. Yes. That's really good. Yeah, this might be a. Um, this is definitely a go to, definitely recommended here. Especially if you're a chili fan. <laughs> I have it all over my fingers like a slob. But, yeah, this is uh, definitely a good choice for our first. Uh, hearty meal of uh, Taste of Calico.
is that the lines here get uh, a little more crazy than I was expecting them to. Because initially it didn't seem that bad, but uh, yeah, these lines fill up fast. So if you have something you really, really want, make sure you grab it first and then worry about other stuff as you go. I mean, unless it's like a dessert item, obviously you probably don't need a dessert first, but yeah, you know. So here it is, the deep fried potato chips. One of the things that was on my list to check out. They look nice and crispy. They're very hot. They're, they're not very hot. Well, they were hotter when we sat down, but they're, they're still hot and fresh. That's pretty good. Nice and salty. I thought like... Like a... Huh. Yeah, they're nice and light and tasty. Um, chemical onion dip, which unfortunately uh, I can't eat, but... I'm sure it's delicious. I'm really liking these chips. So, wait, wait a long time for these, unfortunately. Um, but I really do like them a lot. Uh, it's nice and crisp. Kind of reminds me of a cracker, but not quite. It's hard to describe the, the consistency. I eat all these while doing the review and then look down at my tray and go, oh, there's no more food here in China. But I like these are different. Uh, I don't know if these could ever really function as a standard item because I don't know how popular they really are. But this is one of those cool kind of country fair type foods that I am glad they have out here so I can actually you know, eat something crazy and deep fried. So, all right, on to the next. So yeah, the chips are really good. Uh, of everything I've had this far, this might be my favorite. I know it's really simple. It's just deep fried potato chips, man. but it's so good. It's the saltiness, the crispiness. And I had someone try out the sauce, and the sauce is supposed to be really good too. So if you like onion dip, this is supposed to be a really good onion dip. I just, like I said, can't eat it. And while it's really odd to rank this above other things I've had thus far, thus far this is my favorite. I, it, it seems so pedestrian and so silly, and yet, it was like exactly what I needed when I needed it. I can't believe I forgot about this. My goodness gracious. This is the hat of mystery. Ooh la la. Some of you got it. All right. Listen, this hat's going to sit right here in the duration of the show. I need somebody trustworthy who can look after this hat. I need somebody trustworthy. Somebody trust you. No, no, you, you raised your hand, sir. What's your name? Oh, my friend. And this is the mini stuffed churro with boysenberry filling. As you see, it's not quite as long as a standard churro there. Um, I was expecting it to be a little tiny, like the churro bites from the, um, what was it called? The cockroach bites so when it was uh, Scary Farm, but it's kind of full. You can see it there, you can see the uh, filling. Let's try it out. Hmm. Sir, do me a favor. Just, just look in your eyes. A little bit, a little bit deeper. The filling is still very, it's very warm. That's, no, that was That's really good. Thank you guys for making romance blossom. And it doesn't like, you know, drip out. It's not like kind of the gushy there, type. It's like much more like a gel in there. That's how you do it, right there. I don't know what it is, but that's how you do it. Right over here, that's fabulous. That is fabulous. Exactly. They're pretty solid. Um, the trails here are always pretty decent, and the uh, boys are very gel inside is nice. And sometimes stuffed churros like just leak out everywhere. This doesn't, which I really do uh, appreciate. So yeah, not, not too shabby. Give it, a, give it a shot if you have the chance. I, this is approved. All right, this is one of the big things I wanted. The cookie witch. It is huge. It is ice cream. It is cookies. I am very excited for this. And I have a cover of a Queen song in the background, so you know things are going to be awesome. Mm. <laughs> 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 
Yugi is really good. Um, it's kind of hard to bite through, to be honest, because it's just two thick cookies. It's really good. It's big and like thick and kind of hard to eat. <laughs> to bite through it, but it is really good. It is a rush of delicious sugar. The ice cream is good. Uh, it's nice, like it's nice and soft. I mean, if it was hotter right now, I think it could be a little bit more enjoyable. Um, cookies are great. I, I think she always really like the cookies here at Knott's. And together, this makes a pretty good combination. Um, nice way to end the night, I'll be honest. Another little treat we got tonight is the boys are very icy. It's time to your proper little icy cup. There, but I actually had a drink off of this. I couldn't, I couldn't uh, wait for the video. But I will show you I have another drink right now. Ah, that's pretty refreshing. Um, Boysenberry tends to be very tangy. If you've had like the, like the Boysenberry punch or something like that, it's like, whoa, that's a bit intense. It's a bit lighter, a little bit on the sweeter side, but the tanginess is still there. It would probably be great to drink it when it's not 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> but you know what? It's actually kind of good whenever, honestly. This is... It's a delicious, like, you know, icy kind of fluff stuff, but it has that nice uh, boysenberry flavor to it. Also, a pretty good drink. Um, I probably wouldn't rank it higher uh, uh, than the, um, what was it called? God, it's been a day. Uh, I wouldn't rank it above the smoothie at all, but it's really, really good. It's kind of, how this becomes a normal flavor. I mean, they have the icy machines here, why not? Mm. It's actually really good. Overall, I really liked the event. A uh, few little minor things. The lines got really crazy long. I think it may have been due to them being understaffed or running out of supplies in a few cases. I know a few times we were in line and we heard that the uh, machine that creates the smoothies had needed to like recharge or what have you or be refilled. So I know that a few little issues here and there with stuff like that. Overall, the food was delicious. The entertainment was a lot of fun you know, between the magician guy, the, the various... Uh, Calico residents coming up, standing up on you know, rooftops and stuff and talking to everybody it was generally a lot of fun. It very much reminded me of summer nights, but done obviously a little, a little bit smaller of a scale and no rides. I really liked it. It was It's a very inexpensive ticket for some really good food and generally just it's nice going back into a theme park. I just, you know, I hope that they kind of get things running a little bit smoother on some of the uh, future dates so that, you know, other attendees won't have to sit in line for about an hour in order to get their ice cream or what have you. But other than that, I actually really did enjoy this and um, I'm just really happy to be going to Knott's again, even if it's just like for, the, for this, you know, one weekend and then, you know, it's gonna just be closed. At least I get to walk around and I started to actually feel emotional walking around and just realizing how much I love this park. So uh, thank you to all the staff that worked. Uh, I hope if you've gone, you enjoyed yourself, and if you didn't go, you missed out. Uh, but this was a great event, and I hope that Knott's does more things like this. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the show. Happy 100th anniversary to Knott's. I really wish this could have been a year of, you know, going all throughout the year. But hopefully we'll be able to stop by again before the end of the year. Really, really want to try out Berry Tales, just see how they changed things up. But as for the show, the show will keep going on. Hopefully we will have more and more food, whether we have to cook it ourselves or parts start to open up. Either way, food is coming, reviews are coming. So please like, subscribe, check out the description for how to support the channel because we always need your support. Thank you so much. And for all of you who have been patient while waiting for a fresh review of, a, of actual park food, thank you so much for sticking with us. Until next time, remember to eat the magic.